Greetings fishing enthusiasts, we are back here with Fishing Planet and we are at the Foggy Sanctuary if I'm not mistaken which is this particular peg right here and at this peg there are three docks which are of special interest for fishing now I've already been over here at the dam and fished, got the stripers, I've got stripers here but what I want to show you guys is what you can catch over here and there's a lot that you can actually I don't want to be in the middle one I want to be in the end one there are three here as you can see and where I want to fish let me show you what I've got here I am fishing with the Indigo Rudolph, which is basically an uh, extra heavy power line with the Cyclone 6500 and I'm fishing with a half ounce yellow tiger spoon. Now this is one that Delacaba favors and so do I. And this particular pole is using 12 pound test line. Now the area I want to fish at that I'm extremely interested in if you look over here you see a lot of obstacles there's the dam over there the area I want to fish at you see that power line aim this dude right for the power line you want to put it up to where there's two notches and let it fall we're going to do a lift and drop Lift and drop. Just like that. About every second. Drop. Lift and drop. And drop. If we don't get anything the first time, we'll do it again. Well, we got something, so let's see what we got here, guys. I'm thinking that we got us a bass. <laughs> the way it's... Yeah, smallmouth. That happens occasionally. It's not what we were fishing for. We'll try this again. Yeah, the bass like this stuff too. Okay, let it go to the bottom. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. See what we got here, guys. Well, we will get stripers. Let's try this again. This is not a bass, that's for sure. This is no bass. There is, well, that's what I was looking for. Chinook salmon, guys. Yeah, this guy. I've caught a whole bunch of these over here, but I will say one thing. It's usually a sunny day, and this is a partly sunny. But on sunny days, 
they just hit this thing one right after another. They love this yellow spoon. Absolutely love them. Well, let me go ahead and get a picture of him while I'm at it. Alright. And we'll keep him. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the damn pig. And I wasn't cussing. <laughs> now, instead of going this way, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down these rocks. And a place that we're interested in is right over here. And I'm switching, by the way. Right about there. Now, in addition to Chinook Salmon, you have a strong chance of also getting Steelhead. Either one's good. And the XP form, as you can see. Oh, darn, I thought I had him. You have to cast quite a few times because it's not a very long distance. Usually when you're doing a lift and drop, they usually hook right off the bat. That's why I was kind of through me for a minute. Grab that right off the... Come here. Well, good God, he is... You little turd. <laughs> Come here. Did you see that? I almost had it sure. Come on. It's a salmon, I can tell. Yep. Good size one. Try it again. Yeah, I didn't expect to get him so close. I thought I'd already had reeled it in for the most part. That was odd. There we go. I think this might be a steelhead, guys. Yeah. Now, aren't they pretty? They're a very pretty fish. Yeah, you're just as likely to get one of them over in this particular spot. Yeah, you, a lot of times I will go back and forth. I'll catch salmon, then a steelhead, salmon and a steelhead, salmon and a steelhead. Alright guys, I am going to switch over to a different kind of spoon at this point. And this one is the narrow spoon, one quarter ounce, gold. And I will tell you, when I fished with this before, the steelhead absolutely love it. And right at this spot was the best place to try it. <coughs> See if they go for it again. Yep, they still like it. Oh wow, he is... Whoa! That's... N he broke my line. He 
broke my line. Well, let's try it again. I guess I pulled a little too hard. Anyway, they love this narrow spoon. And I've had most luck with the gold one. I guess it's close to the same color as the tiger, tiger spoon. There we go. See what I mean? They love it. Absolutely love it. Alright guys, I think I've tried enough times here. I don't want this to go too long because I want to be able to show you the next peg on this particular map for Chinook Salmon and for Steelhead. And that is over here. Now everybody thinks that this location's for carp. And it is, for the most part. But it isn't the only thing that's good to catch right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch time here after I switch my bait back to the medium spoon. But the trick of this particular location is getting it to the right time. And I have found that about between 5, I don't know, 6 p.m. seems to be about the prime time, guys. It's nice and sunny. You can see clear all the way out to these power lines. And the power line that you're interested in throwing to is the one that's right in between those two trees, the little one. Just like before. Lift and drop. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to stop for just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my can my candy striper pole. Because then that one I can get a little more distance. Just like before, lift and drop. There we go, guys. There we go. We got one. Let me turn the thing down a little bit. We'll bring this guy in. Now, the way he is pulling on this, I'm thinking salmon. Honestly, I'm thinking he is a uh, decent size, too. Well, this is a lighter pole and lighter line, so I want to go easy on it. Yeah, it looks like I've got me a... There you are, Chinook Salmon. They are here too. Let's keep that dude. Now let's switch back to our first pole. This time I'm going to show you what you can get with a different type of bait in this location. You want the 23 foot 3 odd crank bait, blue and white. These guys absolutely love this thing. I mean, they adore it. Now this, you got to switch over to where it's just one thing like that, and you just... I have the most luck just doing a slow reel in. Straight and slow. There you 
go. I think we got us a steelhead this time. Yep, there he is. They love that one. Now I've gotten Chinook salmon over here on that, but the steelhead love it just as much. You can use it over by the dam, but it seems like when they get snagged, they uh, tend to lose them. And since they're so expensive, I uh, really don't like to use them over there. Here, there's no snag issues. Well, he wanted it, but not bad enough. There we go. Yeah, we might have us a Chinook this time. We'll see in a moment. Nope, another steelhead. We'll go ahead and keep in. Actually, I think I might get a snap of him, though. Let me go ahead and take a good shot, because they're such a pretty fish. Let me get a better angle there. There we go, big guy. Alright, guys. Anyway, that is the best spots that I, I have been fishing for Steelhead and Chinook. Now, Kachi Dlakaba, he basically gave me the one by the dam, but as I was messing around and fishing around, I also did quite well at those other locations. So, if you want to give them a shot, give them a shot. Anyway, guys, until next time, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.